In this presentation, I'm going to be giving you an introduction to working with Autodesk's FBX Review. FBX Review is a lightweight, standalone software tool for reviewing 3D assets and animations. It can open a variety of file formats, including 3DS, OBJ, DXF, and in this example, we're opening an FBX file that was saved out of Maya. The viewport in FBX Review is based on Microsoft's DirectX 11. This character has the Autodesk Uber shader assigned to it. FBX Review and the Autodesk Uber shader can do many of the things that we see on next-gen gaming consoles. Things like dynamic tessellation on the GPU, image-based lighting, as well as blurry reflections are all supported inside of FBX Review and the Autodesk Uber shader. The navigation in FBX Review is very similar to working with Maya. By holding down the Alt and Left mouse button, I can orbit. Alt Middle allows me to pan and Alt-Right allows me to zoom in and out. At any time, if I right mouse click inside of the viewport in FBX Review, the user interface is displayed. We have the playback controls on the bottom, the ability to switch between different cameras that are saved inside of the scene, as well as the ability to switch between different lighting modes, so simple wireframe, flat shaded, smooth shaded, or fully textured. We can also turn on and off the lights that were saved in the scene, as well as display the wireframe on shaded. FBX Review has the ability to turn on dynamic tessellation. So if we go ahead and turn that on, as I start to zoom into this character, you can see that more polygons are dynamically being added. So that we're always presented with a very high fidelity representation of our asset that we're reviewing inside of FBX Review. The last thing I want to draw your attention to is the settings button in the lower right hand corner. This allows us to change various options for FBX Review. So turning on the grid, as well as adjusting how the dynamic tessellation is going to be handled. Here you can see the app in action on a Windows 8 tablet. A quick swipe from the top displays the FBX Review UI. With full touch capability, navigation in FBX Review is highly intuitive. FBX Review still takes full advantage of DirectX 11 and the Autodesk Uber Shader. You can perform all the same actions you can in the desktop version, such as scrubbing the timeline to a specific time frame. FBX Review also allows you to take advantage of the Windows 8 Charm menu. Here you can easily take screenshots of your viewport and send them to members of your team for review. So that's a quick introduction to working with FBX Review, Autodesk's new 3D high quality viewer.